Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Get Out and Do Something. I'm semi-retired Bob. I know I told you the last time that we were going to work with exposure stacking, but I got a different idea. Exposure stacking still coming, but I'm going to explain what we're getting into today right after this intro. Okay, well, I was driving out to work this morning, headed out to Columbus, did my hour and a half drive in the morning. This was Monday morning's work. Um, I'm doing it, I did it today on Saturday because the storm we were supposed to have last night missed us mostly, and we're supposed to get some more snow on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, evening snow always makes for really sloppy roads on Monday morning. And luckily, the Monday morning delivery truck gets in from Chicago first thing Saturday morning. So I just went ahead and ran it out there today because I got keys to the place. I let myself in, get all that done, and now I don't have to mess with bad roads Monday morning if there happen to be some. So while I was driving out through there, on my way back, I'm looking at it. And of course, it was 7 degrees outside, so there's not a cloud in the sky. Big, bright ball of sun in the sky, nothing but blue. It's really pretty out there. Um, it's really cold, but it's really pretty. But as I'm driving back in, I get to thinking to myself, oh gosh, I wanted to make a video today and look at that sky, all that bright, harsh light. I'm going to need this, I'm going to need that, I'm going to need to get ND filters and take a tripod out and decide where I'm going to go and what I'm going to do. And When did I become a photo snob? I, uh, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, in my quest to get better at photography, I had forgotten what got me into photography in the first place. Think back all the way back to when you were a kid. Of course, you know, when I was a kid was probably quite a bit longer ago than when you were a kid. But, um, you know, we had those Instamatic cameras that had the little cartridges that you stuck in them with film. And the film was a little on the expensive side, but the real expense was taking them to the photo bug to, or the photo mat, whichever you had in your area, to get them developed. There was a lot of expense involved in taking just a few simple pictures. Um, and, you know, your parents would help you out and give you a 12-pack of film. Or if you were really lucky, you're right uptown, you've got a 24-pack. When you were going off to a function of some sort, whether it be a school function or a family function, and what you were supposed to do is take pictures of all the people that were there so you'd have the memories for it. Um, but of course, inevitably, those of us who have become landscape photographers, we did take a few pictures of the people that were there, but even though, you know, we only had 12 pictures, we were walking in and there was a bush that caught our eye or a or a, a flower, or just a scene in general caught our eye. So we made the decision and click. We took one of our 12 pictures of that. Usually got yelled at for it afterwards, but I still have a lot of those pictures down in my, uh, down in my study in my photo albums. Um, so I decided, and you know, and I'm not the only one this happens to. I was watching a one of my favorite YouTubers, and I understand why he said what he said from the umbrella that he was talking under, because he was reviewing and editing other people's photos, and all of these people wanted to become photographers or wanted to at least be considered good amateurs. Um, and one of the things he said was, well, this photo just looks like a snapshot. I understand why he said that under the umbrella of what he was doing, but is there anything really that wrong with just taking snapshots um, with our big expensive camera gear? Have we come so far that we now no longer get joy from just taking snapshots of our memories? Um, to get, I understand, there's Instagram, 
there's our portfolio, there's the websites, everything that we've got going on in our lives and trying to make money tells us that we should go out to the lake or wherever we're going to take our photos and we should set the tripod up just so we should take our time and compose our photos and you know put polarizing filters on it so the water does so and then put ND filters on it so the picture looks just so and sometimes even use one of those great big matte boxes and slide a graduated filter in front of it to either darken or lighten the sky or various parts of the picture and there's oh my god there's so much stuff that goes into making that photo and like I said there's nothing wrong with that in a lot of instances because everybody wants to have the next Instagram banger where you know everybody on Instagram goes ooh look at that um, and everybody you know wants to make those really great photos but let's remember why we got into it in the first place just to take some pictures to record our memories so I challenged myself today I was I had to get out and get a little walk-in, even though it was only 7 degrees outside. I had to go get a little walk-in because I hadn't been out much other than work. Work's been really busy, so I got a lot of walking in at work. But I wanted to get outside and do something today, so I took just my camera, one lens. I took my, of course, my Sony a6400. It's the one good camera I have. I took my Sigma 30 1.4. Um... And the reason I chose that lens is because that's the closest lens I have to what your eyes see. You know, you go wide angle, suddenly you're capturing more than a normal human being sees when they're out walking. And if I took one of my zoom lenses, those are great for making compositions, but you don't actually get to see those things with the naked eye. So what I wanted to do was see if I could make some interesting compelling photos with just my camera and one lens no filters I took one battery with me and one memory card so that limited my time and all I did is I went out to Chalco Hills and parked over in one of the parking lots and then just did a loop around the boat ramp area on foot taking pictures of anything and everything that caught my eye um, so let's jump into Lightroom and see what I came up with to see if snapshots can still be considered good. Okay, here we are in Lightroom. Let's take just a quick peruse through all of the... There's all the photos I took today. Um, Just doing some quick point and shoot. A couple of these have some real possibilities. Hey, that's not so bad. That got a lot more of the parking lot than I wanted, but I was just taking snaps, kind of shooting from the hip, seeing what I could find. Um, now, would these be a lot prettier if I took my time and set them up and, and did all that stuff? Yes, indeed they would, but... These are the memories I have of today while I was out walking around. Um, and there is nothing wrong with these photos. Could they be crisper? Yeah, if I'd set up on a tripod, I probably could have gotten them a little sharper. Um, could have put some filters in and I can do a lot of editing, see what happens with these. But, yeah, that's an acceptable photo. Would these be prettier if it was springtime and there were green leaves on the trees or if it was fall and there was lots of color everywhere? Absolutely. But let's not forget why we started taking photos in the first place. Because we liked what we saw and we wanted to capture that memory. And that's all I've done today is make some memories. Um... You know, if I was going to try and post this, I'd probably crop it down to get rid of the trash can and, you know, maybe do something with the just between the pole and the pole between the two poles and zoom it in a little bit. That, you know, might make for a fairly decent photo. 
I like the trees. We got the one leafless tree in the middle of all these evergreens. So that actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, see, there's. That's, I'm not exactly sure what I was looking at when I took that photo, but uh, maybe it's with these shadows I was looking at. You know, people don't like shooting in harsh light because they get these long shadows. Um, I actually like those shadows a lot of times. Yes, indeed. So let's not forget why we got into photography in the first place. Um, that one turned out a little dark. I like this. They've obviously trimmed this bush back here. Got it. this one in focus, that one just a little bit not. Um, that actually is a fairly nice photo. I like that a lot. And then this guy was walking on one of the trails, so I took a few shots there, stuck one into portrait mode just to see what I could do. That's actually a fairly decent shot, too. Gives some perspective with the person in the photo. Um, about how far away I was standing and how big the trees are versus him. If I was going to post this, I'd probably crop it off right about here and zoom it in a little bit so that we only have, you know, about this much of the, of the photo. Dark trees against the bright sky. And this is why people don't like to take photos in harsh light because... The, the trees are all almost silhouette. They're very dark because the sky behind them is so bright. The sun is just off camera over here. Um, but, you know, the thing that actually prompted this, what I forgot to say in my opening, was, you know, the thought that prompted me to do this was... I was thinking to myself, looking at the bright sky as I was driving down the road, going, gosh, do I even want to go out and try and shoot in this? Well, that's just crazy talk. Um, are any of these pictures going to win awards? Probably not. But are they still fairly pretty pictures? I think they are. And that's the great thing about photography, is that you're making stuff for you. You're making what you like. Don't worry about what anybody else says. You know, I could have done a lot of different things, but this, I just took some pictures. I kind of like that. Caught my car in the front of it, shooting across the picnic house there. Still got some lake in the background. Actually, that's a really nice shot. I like that one a lot, too. And this was a, just a weed sitting poking up through the snow i decided i want to try and get close to that and now the the sigma 30 is not a macro lens so i can't get super close and try to make an abstract out of it but that's just the ground that i was walking on today and then i lifted the camera up and that's where i was you can see the sap brothers truck stop over here so this, this park is really right in the middle of the city. And there's our final shot. But So I hope this has showed you that you don't always have to have the very best conditions to shoot. You don't have to... Every photo does not have to be the best photo you ever took. As long as you get some enjoyment out of it. And I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I just went out and like I said, I only walked for about a half hour because it was really cold out. Um, I just walked down around the boat ramp area and back. But uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed this today. If uh, you did, be sure and hit the like, hit the share, show it to your friends. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little bell notification if you want. Um... If you really didn't like this, go ahead and hit the dislike button twice to really show me you didn't like this. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.